Good morning, my beautiful friends. This is Dylan over at Ellis Home and Garden in Longview. I hope everybody's having a fabulous morning. Um, it's getting kind of nasty here. It's supposed to rain today, but you know what? It is totally cool because it's going to be a great afternoon here at Ellis. I can already feel it. I've been having a busy morning. That's why we're kind of late. You know, I always try and get on around 10 o'clock in the morning, but we've had a busy morning. I've had lots of interaction with customers, and that is what I like to do because it makes my day go by fast, and it, I make new friends each and every minute that I'm here. And so that's what we like to do while we're here at Ellis. So give me just a minute. Let me get this screen pulled up so I can see everyone's comments. Can you see everything there so far? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. We're off to a great start. So guys, if you'll go ahead and do uh, me a favor and put your name down below with uh, where you're watching from. We love to see those comments as we uh, do our videos. Happy Friday the 13th. Oh, it is Friday the 13th. No wonder I was so scared when I looked in the mirror today. Hi, Andrea and Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca is liking my shirt. Yes, I wore this for you guys. See here, squad goals. The reason I don't like to wear this in, on camera, because first of all, being on camera adds like 75 pounds. But also, when I have like an image on here, it makes me look like 20 pounds heavier. So, I just have to always walk around with my stomach sucked in. So, I feel like I have abs when I leave at the end of the day. <clears throat> hey, Linda. Hey, Melissa. So, hope everyone's having a great morning. Hey, Donna. So guys, I've had lots of requests for bird cages. So today that's what we're gonna cover. I have brought a bird cage and I'm gonna show you some examples of bird cages. I'm gonna give you some ideas and tips on how you can decorate your bird cages because they're, they are awesome um, for all different kinds of occasions. They're great for weddings, they're great for parties, they're great for graduations. And all of those things have been mentioned in the comments as we've done the past videos. So I definitely wanted to bring that to you today and show you um, how to incorporate bird cages in your decor, whether it be for those graduations or for those special occasions or those decorating events that you have um, in your lifetime. So, um, go ahead, guys. If we just had some new viewers, put your name down below where you're watching from. I see Morgan's watching. Um, Morgan, how you like Chicago Fire so far? My sister just started today, so she's been watching this morning. Um, hey, Teresa. Uh, so, I hope everyone's having a great morning and a great day. And guys, as you watch any questions or comments that you have, please leave them down below. We're here to answer those questions as we do this video today. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by showing you a couple examples of bird cages that we already had set up here at the store. And then we're gonna go into what I'm gonna show you today, which is how to do a different type of bird cage. And just keep in mind that guys, you can do your bird cage however you'd like to do. Guys, we could do a drinking cane, how about that? I know it is like 10.30 in the morning, but hey, mimosas are ready. Every time I say bird cage, have a drink. Don't drink and drive, because I don't permit that, okay? So, um, here's some uh, examples. One thing you can do is you can take a bird cage and put it in a base of some type, okay? So, that wood bowl that I showed you in the last video, which was the orchid arrangement, um, you, we actually took that same wood bowl. Tina did, she's another awesome designer that works here at the Longview location. She took that wood bowl, I, I believe, and she uh, secured the bird cage into the bowl by using some hot glue, not no uh, Gorilla Glue, so don't try that crap because that's a mess. You'll glue your fingers to this, and I'm not paying for your hospital bill because I did not say that on here. So she secured it in here, and then she put her foliage around the rim of the bird cage and around the edge of the container of the bowl of her choice, which in this particular case was that wood bowl. And if you haven't seen this bowl by itself, it's stunning, and you can do lots of different um, techniques and decorating ideas with this. Susan says, I put decorated bird cages in my Christmas tree with different Christmas things in them. See, there goes. Susan has an idea for you. And I'm glad that Susan brought up Christmas because, guys, you know I love Christmas. So anyone who has a Christmas comment or question, leave it down below. We will skip over to you immediately because we love to hear about Christmas, even though it is in April. And I can't believe it's Friday the 13th. If I'd have known that, I'd have worn a Halloween shirt because Dina loves Halloween, don't you? Mm -hmm. I knew somebody loved Halloween, yeah. We've yet to go to a haunted house. Halloween is my Christmas. I've got a story speaking of haunted houses. I will bring that up in a minute. So anyway, um, this particular one, they put foliage around the edge of the bird cage. They incorporated lots of dogwood. They added some purple berries. They added lots of the leather um, fern bush, which we use in a lot of our videos, which will be included on our online store as soon as we get that up and running. So thanks guys for your continued support and continued uh, questions about the online store. We're working on that. Morgan wants to know where LaDonna is. Oh my God, guys, I'm really upset because listen, I just have had, a, just, I've been in a daze this morning. I don't know what's going on. It must have been that 14 Tylenol PM that I took last night. But uh, when I got in this morning, the first thing Dina asked was where LaDonna was. And this is heavy. Anyway, the first thing that I asked this, was asked this morning was where LaDonna was. And I totally forgot. That hoe is on the counter at home in the bathroom. And so I forgot to bring her. She's going to be upset and she's going to cry her makeup off. And also, y'all listen to this. You know she's bald-headed. So, um, I had a, a viewer. She brought me... Uh, oh, I look tan. Anyway, I had a viewer 
bring me a wig for her. So whoever it was, I must have been at lunch or something and I didn't get to meet her. So whoever it was, I want to thank you for bringing LaDonna a hair piece, honey, because she loves a weave and so do I. And so I'm going to put that weave on her. I'm going to tease it up a little bit and I'm going to bring her. And she's going to make her debut on Tuesday, live in the flesh here. And um, where did that photo go? I guess it's not in here anymore. I was going to show her again. What did I put she the in the drawer? Did I put her in the drawer? I don't know what I did with her, guys. I don't know what I did with her. But anyway... I will um, bring LaDonna on Tuesday. She'll make her appearance live in the flesh, and you'll get to meet her. And she will help us create whatever we're going to design on Tuesday with her hair piece. So, again, if you're watching, whoever left the wig, send us a message because I personally want to thank you. Hashtag LaDonna. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to get some T-shirts and merchandise going for all of these hashtags that we have created on these videos we do each and every week. Okay. Teeny asks, is there still a Santa? A Santa? What are you talking about? Teeny. She oh, there is, is always a Santa girl. If you don't believe, you don't receive, okay? Hey, Melissa. Hey, Marcy. So back to this example, guys. Um, you know, we, we put the foliage around here in the container, and the inside the birdcage, this leaves you lots of options for what you can place inside of this, depending on the occasion or where you're going to place this, whether it's on a table, whether it's in a Christmas tree like uh, Susan. I don't know what her name was, mm -hmm. what she said. You know, you could put a candle in here. You could put a, a piece of statuary, whether it's a frog or a bird or whatever for the season is, whether it's Christmas. You could put a Christmas tree in here or an ornament or something like that. This will be perfect, okay? Another example would be just to get the bird cage, put a piece of styrofoam in the base of it, and then put lots of foliage. So here's another one. It's 360 degrees decorated. Tina, another designer here again, she decorated this one as well. So she put the styrofoam in there, covered it with moss, put lots of foliage, greenery, grasses. Um, it looks very natural and realistic and wildflowerish. She added the bud, the uh, bud flowers, the butterflies. So that adds a natural, a natural touch as well. I love that. I'm very, I love butterflies and of course they are attracted to certain live flowers. So it looks very live and natural here. And of course, that's always what we want to go for when we are doing um, artificials is we want this stuff to look as real and as natural as possible. We don't want any fake crap, okay? That's not a good look, definitely, okay? People are wanting to know where you got your shirt. Who is? Pete, uh, lots of people. Oh, hey guys, thank you so much for the comments on my shirt. This was a gift. I really, I think Josh got it for me. I really can't remember. I think Josh got it for me. But um, they have one of these at Target. So if you have a Target near you, um, around Christmas time, I have a friend Jessica, so she's watching. She has one as well. We got a Target. If you guys don't know, if you're a new viewer also, put a comment down below. Let us know how you heard about our videos and um, where you're watching from. Um, but I'm a big Golden Girls fan, and so is Dina. We love them, and um, I watch them every night at Hallmark, 10 o'clock. So if you're one of those people, I'll see you at 10. Walmart has has it just a squad on it, uh -huh. and it's got a picture of all four of them. Okay, yes, guys. You know, I love the Golden Girls. Who do you think I'm most like? If you're a fan of the videos here at Ellison, you watch me a lot of the times, leave a comment down below. Let us know who you think I'm most like. Hey, Rita, it was good seeing you the other day. Let me know who you think I remind you of as far as the Golden Girls. I like to say, I uh, am, what is that saying? Um, Dorothy in the streets, Blanche in the sheets. Okay? <laughs> so, guys, leave a comment and let me know. Hey, Missy, Terry, es, uh, Esme, and Nora. All right, guys. So, if you're just joining us, we're coming to you from Ellison Longview this morning. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful morning. I'm here with my beautiful friends, and Dina's here as well. And we are going to do a bird cage, okay? So here's the bird cage that I've created. It's just a white one. Now you can pick one of your choice, you know, wherever you find one. If you have one at home that you've got some lanterns in or some candles or whatever you want, you can definitely, um, I've got hot glue strung everywhere. It looks like spider webs. You can find one of your choice, and you can really replicate what we're going to do today on your own bird cage that you have at your home. Okay? You've got a couple of Dorothy's, but most people are saying Blanche. Mm-hmm. I love my, my Blanche. But really, the Golden Girls would not work if all of them weren't there. And I love Sophia because she's a smart mouth. Um, and so am I. Okay? So am I. If I wasn't on this video, I'd probably be saying words I shouldn't be saying on here. And that's how that's how Blanche and that's how um, Sophia. Sophia are. And I'm the same way. Okay. Now that I'm strung up in hot glue already, and it's only been in this video 10 minutes, um, this is the bird cage that I chose. I just chose it because we are in the spring season. It's only April the 13th, Friday the 13th, so happy Friday the 13th. Um, I chose this because it's bright, it's springy, this will really go well, and it will add a pop of color with any type of flower that we cho choose this morning. And so I'm just going to go with bright spring fresh colors because it's just kind of a dark gloomy day because it is um, going to be raining today. So I thought let's just brighten it up in here today. So 
I have put a, a large piece of styrofoam at the base of this, <laughs> and I have covered it up. What happened? Connie says, picture it, April 13th, 2018. Yes. <laughs> a mess. That's what we're going to picture. Anyway, so I put the base of it on here. I covered it with the styrofoam. Uh, I mean, I covered it with the moss, and I did the same thing at the top because we're going to accent and embellish not only the bottom of this bird cage but the top and that's something I want you guys to remember is you can do both uh, sections of the bird cage as long as you don't overdo it sometimes less is more um, so remember that you can do both sections just don't overdo it don't make it so gaudy um, you don't want this to look like a drag queen okay honey you want it to just be subtle so that's okay okay hey Debbie um, hey Betty well, hey, Esme, happy birthday to your mom. Okay? Cindy, I know you love bird cages, girl. This is for you. Hey, Deborah, and Maggie. All right, guys, and thanks for sharing as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do when you decide to do the top and bottom of the bird cage is we're going to do the bottom first because if you do the top and you get it perfect and you get it the way you want, you're going to have to open this up to do the inside and you might get your stuff, um, you know, all in a mess and it's going to hang over. So let's do the inside first and then we're going to work our way out, okay? So we're going to start with our main flower. And I found these peonies. Well, I've used these before in a wreath, I believe. And I really enjoy these and like these. So that's what we're going to use today, okay? So I'm going to tear off my tag and begin using these, okay? Make sure, again, if you're a new uh, viewer or a new watcher, that you cut apart each and every piece that we uh, use and select for our birdcage because you want to piece them where you want. Now, this is not that large of a birdcage. It might look large on the video, but it's really not. We don't have a lot of space inside of here, so we're going to keep the large blooms and set them to the side. We'll use them for another project for another day. We're just going to use the smaller blooms on this one because we do not have that much room. Wendy, he's done a video on lanterns. He did... a the video had three different lanterns in it. Yeah, guys, any past videos that you have missed, you can find definitely for sure on our Facebook page at Ellis Home and Garden. Go up to our video tab. It's like by the photos, and then it says videos, and you can find all of our past videos. We have Christmas videos. We have fall videos. We've got Mardi Gras. We've got Easter. We've got a mess on there. Everything you want to find, it's on there. Okay, so we have our first one, and I have the pick machine here, and again, this is accessible to me, so I'm going to be using it here on the video today. Okay, now I'm going to hog glue all of this stuff in to really secure it. And I'm going to place this one just in the center of this. Okay, now, here is a no-no, okay? And this, I'm going to remove this, okay? And remember, as you design and as you create and as you craft even, you're always going to make mistakes and that is cool because, you know, you learn from your mistakes. Just like I've learned sometimes you don't wear those jeans again because I blew the crotch out when I dipped and did it, honey, in the club. So, you know, you always learn from your mistakes and you learn not to do that again. When you do a bird cage, you always want to get eye level. Now, you don't want your flower head to be at the rim of the bird cage because you can't see that. And we're going to have stuff and embellishments on the top of the bird cage as well. So, we don't want it to all run together, so we're going to lower that stem. So, I know I put a hot glue in there, so get your muscles ready, and we're just going to pull and remove that stem, okay? And we're going to cut it off a little bit more and lower it, okay? And that happens from time to time, and that's totally cool, okay? Okay. And also, it happens a lot of the times on, on projects that you're not very familiar with that you haven't done a lot of the time, Okay. So I lowered it just a little bit more. So you can see there, that makes a little bit of a difference. So always trim it and then remove it just a little bit more. Paulette, he uses a glue pan at his desk. It, the glue gun is just easier when he's out and about. Yeah, I keep saying I'm gonna bring one back here. I just keep forgetting. Um, and remember guys, it's easier to do this at the beginning stages than have your whole project done and then go back and trim those stems and try to remove them. It begins to be a pain, okay? Let's stop for a second and say hi. Hey, um, Gibby, hi, Tila. Tila Tequila, remember that girl on MTV? I love that name. Hi, Amanda. Yeah, Amanda's talking about that shirt as well. Yeah. Hey, Connie. Connie, we did a sconce video a while back, so you'll have to check that out on our past videos. But if you'd like to see another sconce, guys, I'll definitely do that for you as well. Hey, Elaine, hope you're having a great morning. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we're gonna continue adding our flowers. Add another one down here at the bottom. Okay, and it gets kind of tricky, guys, because these bird cages, 
don't have much room in them. So remember, you wanna keep your blooms pretty small because you don't wanna have a massive hydrangea, for example, in here because it leaves you no room to put anything. Okay, so I put two in here so far. Okay, and again, any excess blooms that I'm not using for this particular project, I'm not gonna throw them away. I'm just setting, to, setting them to the side and I'm gonna use them for another project for another day. And remember also, you know, in a lot of these projects, you don't have to break, break the bank because less is more. You can still get that beautiful outcome, that beautiful presentation with a less amount of product. You don't always have to over um, buy on your product to get that outcome that you want. It's the Dylan and Dina show. It is, we can start that up. Hashtag Dylan and Dina. Hey Penny, hey Nancy. Oh, Nancy, it's her first time from Canada. Well, welcome Nancy, we're glad you joined us. Nancy, leave us a comment, let us know how you found out about our videos and we wanna thank you for joining. And guys, if you'll do us a video, uh, a video, Lord, honey. If you'll do us a favor and share these videos because see, it made people like Nancy, she found our videos, so we appreciate it, guys. And guys, if you're ever in the Longview area, stop by, give us a hug, give us a shout out and say hello. And if you're ever here when we're doing a video and you know you're here, please come back, knock on the door, and come say hi, and you can be on our video because we want you to interact and have fun. And you can help me do this bird cage or whatever we're doing that day because we'd love to do that. And guys, I have an announcement. I'm going to announce something in a minute. Um, we'll get started in a second. I'm going to announce something. So I'm going to add one on the back side here. I'm going to pick it up so you guys can see. So as you can see, I've added three stems so far. So here's kind of a, let me turn it. I feel like I'm on QVC, this product. I feel like I'm uh, showing off white diamonds or something. Anyway, ooh, that stuff is stout, by the way. If you, you know what white diamonds yes, is? Yes. Oh my God, guys, if you wear white diamonds, whoo, uh, you can spray one spray, and I nearly blacked out one time. And Morgan, I, my sister hates that stuff, and so let me tell you what I do. I'm, I'm such a little jerk. Uh, I was gonna say another word, but a B. But anyway, I um, will go to the mall, and I'll get um, I'll, one of those tester cards, and I'll spray it with white diamonds, and then I'll go find her in the mall and I'll say, Morgan, I found this perfume and it is so good. You have got to smell it. And then I'll make her smell it and it'll be white diamonds. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and then she'll smell that. She'll be stuck with that smell all day. Because if you get just a little bit on you, mm -hmm. you can smell that stuff all day long. My sister wears it. She loves it. <laughs> if you get in the car with somebody, you better roll the windows down. Yep. And then the person behind you in their air vents is coming in. Hey, hey. Kathleen. Hey, Tracy. Hi, Melody. Okay. <clears throat> So guys, again, any questions or comments that you have while we do this video, go ahead and put that down below in the down bar. Give us a thumbs up, guys, or a heart if you like what you see so far. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue to add. Let's see what we wanna do next. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of greenery, okay? I have this um, ivy, and if you know, if you watched our videos, guys, you know this is one of my favorite things to use because it adds length. Okay, it's one of my favorites. Hey, Amber, I haven't seen you in a while. It's so good that you're on here. Hey, Marcy and Jill and Suzanne. All right. It is more than enough. Do what? Marcy says a <laughs> Why diamonds? Head. Ooh, girl, I'm getting a whiff of it now thinking about it. <laughs> Brings back flashbacks. Anyway, um, yes. One time, my great-grandmother, yeah, she passed away, and we cleaned out her stuff, and she had a bottle of that, that crap, and uh, she called it poo-poo juice, okay? And uh, anyway, I, I brought it home, and every time Morgan would leave, my sister, I would spray it in her room. <laughs> and so she would come home, and she'd be like, oh, my God, what does that smell? And I'd be like, it smell, honey. Anyway, <laughs> so, so I'm really awful. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to try and be a better person. Guys, I'm going to try and be nicer. I'm... I'm in therapy for it, okay? I'm in therapy. Anyway, so I like to use this ivy because it adds length, guys. And, um, you know, I like to put it on here because, you know, it just adds a great foundation for all the other flowers that we're going to add. And this is um, just ivy. It's not poison ivy for all of you wondering. So you can't poison anyone with it. First time from Perth, Australia. Oh, my gosh. Well, hello. What's her name? Hey, Jackie. Good morning. Hey, Tina. Jana. Oh, Mine's a little bit, I think, off from yours. Um, let's see. Darla said that's what siblings do. Girl, I agree. I agree. Okay, so I'm going to start adding this. 
Now guys, as you get longer items, longer stems, longer florals, whether it's greenery, and a lot of the times the longer ones are gonna be the greenery and the filler agents, you're gonna to want to insert those through the bird cage and let them cascade out onto the counter. And that's what's gonna give it that draping effect and that wispy effect. And this is great for, thank you Elizabeth so much, love you for watching. This is great for um, a great foundation for your table piece, okay? And again, bird cages are great for different decorating aspects, whether it's for graduation, whether it's for a table piece, whether it's for a dining room table, breakfast table, coffee table, um, Christmas tree, like Susan said earlier, they're great for all different things. So just keep that in mind with, while you're decorating, while you're designing, and think about what you want your outcome to be as you design, okay? Jackie's watching guys from Jackie's Reese. I'm really bummed because she sent me a shirt that says hashtag dip and do it. You know, that's my saying because I like to dip and do it, you know, but um, my shirt didn't get here. I'm really bummed because I was going to wear it for you guys today. But, you know, hopefully I get another one. Um, or hopefully this one turns up. It's probably around here somewhere. God, I ask everybody. But I'm going to go on a hunt later. I'm going to dig through this whole place and dig up something and find that shirt. Hopefully. But I went through the mailbox. And, honey, that was a long walk out there to the mailbox. I almost had to call the EMS to get me out from the street. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Linda. Okay. So Wendy's asking how's your diet going. Who is? Wendy. Wendy. You don't want to ask that. So I'm going to put this first piece right here. Wendy, let me tell you, honey. I went yesterday to Kohl's. Um, Y'all have a Kohl's near you? Shout out to Kohl's for that Kohl's cash, honey, because I love some Kohl's cash. I went to Kohl's because I needed to um, get me some new shorts because summer's here, and, you know, I was wearing a 34. Shout out to the ones who wear 34. And, um, you know, it was just getting a little snug. <laughs> it was getting a little snug. And, you know, when you have to sit down and you have to unbutton the pants at the table because, you know, you can't breathe, well, that's where I was getting. And so I had to say a prayer every time I ate that I didn't blow out at the, at the table and, like, kill the person. And I'd hate to give somebody a tracheotomy with my button, you know, blowing out. So I went to Kohl's and said a prayer. So I grabbed two 34s, a pair of shorts, and I was like, Dylan, let's just go in the dressing room and try these things on before we leave. So we go in the dressing room. I was the only one in there. And so we go in the, I closed the door, and I said, oh, God, help me. Please let these pants fit. So I put them on, and they fit, but they were snug, and it said on there, stretch. Every time they say stretch, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a good day. This is going to freaking work. So I put those pants on, and they stretched on, but they were still tight. And you know when they fit, and you're like this, you put them on, and then you let your stomach out, and then all of that crap just, like, blows. Well, it wasn't good. So I went outside, and I got some 36s, two sizes up, honey. That was a big thing. Well, listen, can you see my whole body? I'm used to wearing my shorts like this, right above, look at these legs, mm -hmm. right above my knee, okay, like this. By the way, these are the 36s. So, I put the 36s on, and these are them, and they come down here. So, all morning long, I felt like I'm wearing freaking capri pants, and I've been pulling them up all morning like this. And I'm like, what is going on? And I've been pulling them up, and they fit, but they're just so long. So, anyway, I'm going to have to, like, roll them up. So, I have capri, because I feel like I'm wearing capris. Do you ever y'all feel like, well, y'all probably wear capris, but capris are not for me. Yeah, Dina's wearing capris. I'm not used to that. I like to have the knee exposed so I can bend her, you know. <laughs> anyway, so, who asked about oh, the diet again? What was her name? Wendy. Wendy, honey, the diet is not doing too well. But I did do this. I've learned you way in the morning time because you haven't eaten all night. <laughs> And that Tylenol PM has really worked on the body. So I lost six pounds. So there's that. Um, I haven't weighed again since then because I think I threw the balance off on the scale. But, you know, I'll probably weigh again sometime like in a year. But we're going on a trip for Memorial Day. Me and my family are going to New Bronzeville. So if anyone's been in New Bronzeville, leave a comment, honey, and let me know if it, how it is. We're going to go float the river. I heard the water's like 40 degrees. So I'll probably be in a, a hypothermic shock <laughs> for half the trip because I don't do... I like to glamp. You know what that means? I like an air conditioner. I like, um, I like an air conditioner. I like a mattress, a bed. I don't want to be having, I don't want to come back with a Zika virus because I was outside. And I don't want to be spraying cutter on. It's not cute. <clears throat> so this should be interesting. I'll definitely bring a camera. I will video and hopefully we can like show a little bit of footage if they'll let me and Ellis on this thing. I'll have to get a little sensor because you know I'll be out in the woods and so all kinds of things could pop out. But um, yes, we're going to go float the river, have a couple drinks, and hopefully all is well. But it's going to be fun. It's in New Bronzeville. So if anyone's ever been there and floated the river, let me know on the comments what you guys think and if I, you think that I would enjoy it. Because I'm not really an out, outdoorsman, okay? I'm not going to be out there like throwing a fishing pole or anything unless it's to like help my mom from drowning or something. Because one time she went to the river and she had a tragic accident, guys. 
she had had about 45 bottles of uh, tequila, and uh, she um, slipped under, and a uh, swimsuit went up the crack, and she almost drowned. Someone had to pull her out, and she had scuffed up the knees, had to get liquid Band-Aid, and it was just tragic, and Dina's blacked out. So, you know, this could be good, or it could be bad, so y'all pray for me, okay? Hey, Victoria. Sandra says, at least you're not five foot one trying to wear capris. Do what? Sandra says, at least you're not five foot one and trying to wear capris. Girl, they're going dragging my ankles. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. So, yeah, uh, Wendy, the diet, it's just going here and there, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I'm going to continue on this while Dina reads the comments. If you hear anything about New Bronzeville, will you read them to me? Have you been there? Uh huh. It's, Long time ago. Is it freezing? I loved it. We went, well, we went to Schlitterbahn. But I heard you had to put, like, your tennis shoes on because there was, like, glass and stuff at the bottom of the river and stuff. We didn't do the river. We went to Schlitterbahn. Oh, my. Well, anyway. Thanks, Rhonda, so much. Thank you for watching. Hey, Judy. New Braunfels is outstanding. There's so much to do. It's a little German town. It, it, yeah. It's I heard like, there's lots of restaurants and stuff to do, so it's awesome. Oh, Sissy said, I am her therapy. You never laugh so much. You'll be half floating the river. Um... And they were all making fun of me, guys, saying that I, um... Cape Town, South Africa. Do I? We have a viewer from Cape oh, Town, Oh, welcome, South Africa. welcome, welcome. Um, someone also said that, um... Who said go to me? Rebecca, I'd blow that thing. Someone said, my friend Lori said, um, what did she say? Something about, oh, there was no tide in the river. I said, honey, wait till I climb in there. Y'all will all drown, okay? If I plop off in that river... The water will, whew, it'd be like free willy floating up in there. Use a tube. Make sure you take a tube. Oh, yeah, to float on for sure. I'm going to bring like a raft. <laughs> and I need a chain to chain myself up to. Because, girl, if I get caught up in that tide, <laughs> ain't nobody, anybody keeping me. Hey, Tony, he's watching from Paris. Well, welcome. Okay, I'm going to continue adding this ivy, everyone. <clears throat> and again, I like to add this for length. And make sure whatever you add to one side, you add to the other. Because most all always you can see these lanterns from all sides it's always visible okay oh and you need to go by Gruen hall too while you're down there where's that at it's down that way what is that though it's a little bar oh bar okay yeah i hadn't even told you about this trip this just kind of got planned yesterday yeah, i've got a niece graduating and she's graduating the friday before so i'm going to tennessee we're at in Hi. A little spot in between Clarksville and Dover called Big Rock. Huh. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to check all that out. Watch out for water snakes. <gasps> snakes. I'm canceling. Cancel. $50. I'm canceling. I don't do snakes. Hey, Jan. I don't do snakes. I don't do spiders. I don't do anything. Mm. We really, I really should do like a... Uh, what do you, a vlog and like post it on YouTube? That'd be funny. Oh Jesus! Uh uh. Mm 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 mm. I can already tell this could go really good or really bad. Mm mm mm. Okay, so guys, I added a little bit of, of ivy. Again, you don't want to add too much because we don't know how much product we're going to add to this particular um, lantern. Okay. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of this ivy, and then we're going to talk about a haunted house because, you know, it is Friday the 13th, and honey, it's, I've got to tell you all a story about this time that I went to a haunted house. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I want to take a minute and let you know, first of all, if you guys are familiar with Regina Sellers with Pro Bow the Hand, which is a bow maker, give me a thumbs up right now and let me know if you're familiar with her because I'd like to see. Okay, Regina Sellers. With Probo the Hand, she is the one, the creator and the founder of the bow maker that makes those beautiful, stunning bows. Okay? A I lot of people are familiar with her. What's the question? Tila is asking, my pick machine has started jamming up. Any idea of what could be causing it? Yes. Tila, I'll get to you in just a second. Okay? So, guys, for all of you who uh, are familiar, I see a lot of people are familiar with her. Um, well, I am very excited to announce that Regina is coming to our store here in Longview to meet me. I'm really, well, it's, it's my, it's, I'm excited to meet her, really. Um, she's coming to meet me here at the Ellison Longview. She's coming Thursday through Saturday, May 10th through the 12th to do in-store demos with her product, the Pro Bow the Hand. She's going to show us how to make those beautiful bows. She's going to show it to our customers. She's going to interact with them. And we're going to carry that product here at Ellis Home and Garden. So I'm really excited to announce that. I cannot freaking wait. 
It's going to be an awesome, um, awesome addition to all of our products and all of our merchandise that we carry here at Ellis. So guys, if you have ever wanted to plan a trip and you've all ever wanted to interact with me, Regina, and meet Regina, and you're close, somewhat close to Longview, Texas, please come to our store here in Longview, Texas, May uh, Thursday, May 10th through uh, Saturday, May 12th, and you can meet Regina 9 to 8 all of those days. We're going to have an awesome, fun time. Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. She's going to be here again. She's going to be showing that product, Probo the Hand. If you're not familiar with it, check it out. We're going to carry it here at Ellis. She's going to be here demonstrating it, guys, interacting with you, interacting with the fans, guys. I'm going to be here. Dean is going to be here. We're all going to have a great, fun time. So please, please, please come here. Check it out. If you ever wanted to plan a trip and come, awesome. Come here and see us. Okay, and I see a lot of people, um, a lot of people have know her and have interacted with her and seen her, so I'm jealous because I haven't seen her and met her yet. So the 10th, 11th, and 12th cannot get her soon enough. Oh my God. Okay. Michelle has a paranormal team. A what? Who? A paranormal team. Listen, we, I'm never going to get this freaking bird cage done. Dana loves that stuff, and she scares me sometimes because she, I can't. I, I would like to have a paranormal team. Okay, we're going to talk we're about all mature. kinds of stuff today, guys. I can already tell you. Gina's going to have to get a chair. So, listen. First off, Tila is asking about the pick machine. Okay, girl. Mm -hmm. If your pick machine jams up, first thing you want to do is scream because sometimes that helps. And sometimes you just really cannot get the thing unjammed. And you want to say a few cuss words. It'll make you feel better. Okay? And then after you do all that and get all that out, then you want to take a deep breath and begin. Okay? So, if it jams, really the main thing that happens is multiple picks come out at one time. Okay? Uh, first of all, Margie's asking about purchasing online. Margie, we're working each and every day to get the online store up and running. Hopefully, it will only be a few more weeks. We're really trying to get that going, so stay with us, girl. We're really trying. Jan will be coming through that weekend. Okay, Jan. Trip. Well, we can't wait to meet you and interact with you. I really am excited. Um, uh, Tila, if multiple picks come out at a time, you want to just focus on this screw right here. Really just uh, turn it one way, try working on it, you know, and turn it the other way, and hopefully that will solve your problem. If not, that's really the only thing I know how to do. We send them off to a repairman here. I'm really not sure even who he is. He's someone who we have contacted to here through Ellis, and he fixes them for us, but that screw, um, it somehow fixes how many picks come out at one time and the pressure in there, so hopefully that helps you out. Okay. Liz is blacked out, girl. Don't be drinking this early, honey. She must have to go off. We played a little drinking game. Um, how many times can I say birdcage, take a drink? But, you know, don't drink and drive. Don't be drinking and going out to Hobby Lobby, honey. Come over here to Ellis <laughs> because we'll have a better time here. Okay. So, oh, I was going to add the different kind of green. What did I do with it? Was this it? I thought I just took a tag off of it. Oh, this is it. Okay. So we have this greenery here, and this guy's for everyone wondering. This is called a lace fern bush. This is one of my favorites as well. I haven't used it in a while because we've been sold out. We just got it back in. It's $4.99, 25% off. And something I want to tell you is all of our, our floral stems are 25% off every day. So that's great savings. You can always count on us having a great sale here at Ellis. And especially now that it's wedding season, lots of weddings are coming up. I'm going to be in a wedding. I'm going to be a usher. And in my best friend Katie's wedding, it's on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. So you know we're going to have Mexican food and... Um, margaritas on Cinco de Mayo. It's on May 5th, so I can't wait to do that. I'll send y'all a picture of me and my tux. Thank you so much, Trellis. I love you for watching. Hey, Gwen. Yep, me too, girl. Sometimes those pick machines are a mm. Okay? So, we're going to trim this um, greenery off, and we're going to begin to fill in as Rebecca we go. says right now all stems are 50% off. Oh, guys, I forgot. Rebecca's reminding me right now in stores, guys, all of our Allstate stems and all of our stems are 50% off, so that's great savings again. So come in and take advantage of that. Rebecca, if you're watching, any updates on the online store you can tell us? I know. I, I just keep telling them, you know, just stay tuned. we got a couple more weeks. Keep watching. But if you know anything that I don't know, they would love to hear. Okay, so here's that lace fern bush, everyone. And we're going to add a little bit of this to the base of this, and we're going to go through the birdcage, okay? So again, if you want stuff to be longer, it's just kind of like these examples here that you see, you want them to stick out through the edges of the birdcage. Okay. Karen, you'll be able to get some of the greenery. Um, I'm not sure what will be on there. 
Yeah, guys, we'll have some of the greenery selections on online. A lot of it will be greenery because most of the time you can get flowers wherever you live around the world. But our greenery that we use here, I really take time when I select the greenery that we do that we carry here in our stores because I know what works best in the type of arrangements that we display here and that we, we design. So I really take time when I pick it out. And so I want that all to be available to you wherever you live in the world. So that definitely will be available on there, guys. I just don't know exactly when it will. Uh, Mary, uh, Rebecca, Mary's asking how long the 50% off will last. And guys, I'm not sure on that either. But I'll... Jean, we're um, an hour, hour and a half from Garland. I have a family that lives in Garland. It takes us an hour and a half to get there. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm adding a little bit of green and It's filling out, okay? I'm going to do the same thing to the left side that I did over here on the right side. Kristen, yes, all the sales are the same in each of the L stores. I'm starving. Thanks, Melissa, so much. Thanks, Trina. Okay. So we're going to continue adding this. Why do I feel like I hear thunder? I don't know. Well, it's supposed to flood, but I didn't think this early. I didn't think so either, but it, sound, I, it may be guys in the greenhouse. Yeah. Guys, don't forget, tomorrow is Saturday. We're going to have another greenhouse video for you with Mark. So anybody who has questions or comments about um, live flowers or gardening, we had a great turnout last Saturday. I want to thank you uh, for all of those questions that we had. Go ahead and be thinking of those because tomorrow we'll come to you live from the greenhouse if it's not windy and cold because it's supposed to get cold again. And we're going to answer all those questions with Mark. So be thinking about those, and we'll be with you tomorrow with those. Okay. Deborah, we're only 10 hours from Nashville, so if you want to take a trip this way, it's only 10 hours. Helen's asking about the greenery we're using now. This is a lace fern bush, Helen. Tina says, I'm sure you're going dipping and doing tonight, but I'm doing a live and I tell one of my stories or two from my recent trip to the Amish country. Oh my God, Tina, I'll have to check them out because I'm going to be dipping and doing it on the couch or the blanket. I'm not going to be doing much. I'm going to have some to-go food. Excuse me. And I'm going to sit on the couch, so we'll have to, me and Josh will have to um, listen to your story. Morgan says it's sprinkling, so I guess I am here. Morgan, are you on the road yet? Let's see. Hey, Tricia, I don't believe I am going to the wreath conference this year. But if you are going to do another one next year, hopefully we can get involved a little bit sooner, and we can hopefully make that work. Angela, we're in Longview, Texas. <clears throat> okay, everyone, so as you can see, the, the birdcage is really filling out as I'm adding the greenery in there. And again, if this greenery is not something that is, did you say Dana? that is accessible to you guys, then you can definitely replace it with something that is similar near you. And I know it can be done because I've had people send in a lot of pictures of their work, and they've replaced it with other things, and it looks wonderful. Well, this is not yet. She's headed to Mom's office now. Okay. driving down the road watching the video. This real safe, real safe. Terry, I'm not sure how far Grapevine is. I know it takes me an hour and a half to get to Garland. Liz said to dip and do it in New Bronzeville. Hey Donna, she's from Fort Worth. Good morning and good morning, Kelly. I'm glad you're joining us. Okay, guys, so let me um, continue adding this, and I'm going to tell you a story about haunted houses. Now, for all of you who know, you probably know from watching this, I'm terrified of every freaking thing, whether it, it is mannequins, okay, doll heads, um, spiders, bugs. I'm terrified of everything. So, one thing I do love is to decorate and design, and one of my favorite holidays is Halloween. I don't like, um, I don't like anybody touching me. What happened? Teeny. Oh, anyway, I don't like anybody touching me, but I like haunted houses because it's funny story afterwards, but in there, I'm really terrified. So, one time we went to this haunted house with a group of ladies from Ellis, and let me add this on here. Terry, we're on I-20. Okay, so we went to this haunted house with a group of ladies from Ellis. I believe it was called Greystone Manor, and I was so terrified from the time we went in, okay? So... We went in the haunted house, and um, when you walk in the door, um, you walk in this room, and there was all these, like, people standing there, but it was dead quiet in there. Like, nobody, you didn't think anybody was in there. It was, like, statues of people. 
and all of a sudden this noise went off and one of those statues was a live person and the, the noise went off that's tornado sirens That sound like oh, no, tornado my sirens. It's okay. Are you scared of tornadoes? I want to go see them. I want to chase them. Oh, no. The tornado sirens are going off, guys. So, anyway, and make sure That's what that... it sounded like. I know. If we uh, get blown away on this video, make sure that y'all post this to YouTube because we definitely want to go out with a bang, okay? <laughs> Is it... So, if anybody's watching from Longview, make sure that y'all um, put a... Y'all let me know what the weather is like on here. Is that really the tornado sirens? My phone didn't go off. Maybe not. Anyway, well, people out there smoking. I mean, hell, so it's fine. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, um, we went to this haunted house. We walked in the room, and there's all these statues standing there, and one of them was a live person, and they made this noise, and I'm standing there, I'm standing there, like, shaking like this, and they made this noise, and all of a sudden, I, like, popped up, and it scared me to death, and um, so anyway, he made, he said something, and there, there's this chimney, okay? It's like a fireplace, and it's the only hole in this room, and he's like, you know, to get to the haunted house, you have to climb through the fireplace, and I was thinking, excuse me, um, this is not uh, the Santa Claus where the fireplace blows up, honey. That's a little bitty hole. This is a big old boy, and I'm not, I don't know if I'm, we're all going to fit through this little bitty fireplace, and there's cobwebs and stuff in there. So um, anyway, I was like, whatever, one for the team, and it's pitch black, so I crawl my big butt down on the floor. We go through this fireplace. There is like wall-to-wall -wall spider webs. You have to pull them apart to get in there. So we're going through the spider webs. And then you go through this hallway, and it's like this big blow-up hallway. And so the hallway is blown together like this. So you're having to push the hallway apart to get through there. And so we're squeezing through there. And we get in this other room, and then all of a sudden you're in this outside area, and there's all these sheets blowing in the wind, okay? And there's a strobe light going, okay? Strobe light going, so every, and it's real slow, so every time the strobe light comes on, somebody's face is right here, like a clown or something. A clown, and the strobe light goes off, and then all of a sudden, guys, you hear a chainsaw crank up. Now listen, honey, I went running one time in the house to the road when Chase's Chainsaw Massacre was on. So the chainsaw cranks up, and I freak out, left everyone there, ran through the sheets, ripped them off the clothesline. I ran all the way to the highway, and that freaking chainsaw chased me all the way to the highway, ran down the edge of the highway, through the road, almost got run over by a car. <sighs> My God, I didn't think I was going to make it, and y'all wonder why I'm big. I mean, I could just go to a haunted house every day, and I'd be freaking skinny and have a six-pack. So I will never again go to a haunted house. I'm just terrified. They scare me to death. Never again. Greystone is the best, though. No, I can't. And I'm terrified of clowns, guys. I mean, I went to this one one time where you wear 3D glasses. and It was probably, it was, it was in Tyler. You wear 3D glasses, and everything was black light, okay? And it was all clowns. And they were, oh, I just still have flashbacks. I can't. Hey, have y'all seen the new It movie, by the way? I love that movie. Love it, love it. You're clowns, but you like the movie. Yeah, I love the movie. Because they can't come out of the TV. I mean, this ain't the ring. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Ooh, Patsy. Patsy, we're here to have a good time, girl. Hey, Christine. Okay. So we're going to continue adding the greenery. I guess that wasn't Tornado Sirens. I guess it maybe wasn't. It was, what is today? Wednesday? Friday. No, it was Friday. I was thinking maybe it's a... Uh, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't test them when there's bad weather in the area. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not. But we are supposed to have some bad weather today. Hmm. Hey, Judy, we're still working on it. But here's the um, two examples right here. I'll have Dina show you. Two examples of um, bird cages. And then we're working on this one right here now. Okay. And again, we're just adding the greenery as we go. Okay. This is what we got so far, guys. And again, we're going to do something on the top of this as well. But I wanted to work on the inside first because we have um, the top. And once you create the top, you don't want to have to open it up and, and risk messing up the top. Okay. Thanks, Virginia, so much. Yeah, Friday the 13th, yeah, it really is. It's scary and everything. So somebody a minute ago was talking about they had a paranormal team. Well, listen, does anyone like Teresa Caputo from Long Island Medium? I love her. You do love her? I love her. Okay, give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like Teresa Caputo. She comes on TLC with Long Island Medium because I don't believe in mediums. I don't, because I feel like, where are they pulling that crap from? But I love her and I believe her because no one is more authentic, I feel, than her. And let me just tell you one of the examples. There's lots of I know. Let me just tell you an example that I saw with her that really made sense to me. There was a guy on there that his wife had passed away giving birth to their son. That's just a motorcycle. Anyway, there was a guy on there that his wife passed away giving birth to their son. 
and Teresa was giving him a reading about, you know, his, his wife that passed away, and he had his, or his daughter, and his daughter was sitting in his lap, and she was a little bitty baby, and she had a big, one of those big headbands on her head, and Teresa said that um, when his wife, uh, you know, she had the baby, and then she passed away, and when she passed away, she reached over, and she kissed that baby on her head, and that, that husband reached over, and he took that headband off of that baby and she had a birthmark on her head and that's where the baby that's where the wife kissed the kid and so ever since that episode i'm a believer mm -hmm. so i don't believe it. i don't know how i feel about tyler henry have you seen him mm -mm. i feel like he, he he's good but like his stuff's not as dead on to me as Teresa is because she can pull stuff out of like thin air that no one would know except for those people and like that right there no one knew that kid had that birthmark and until she said that it was just crazy you know so I'm obsessed. Love her, love her. Hey Angela, hey Andrea. Got all the A's up in the house, okay? Oh, Cheryl says she is a fraud. <laughs> Every time I think of that, I think of um, Housewives when Nene says freak and fraud. <laughs> yes. Hey Veronica, hey Sandra. Okay guys, so we're gonna keep adding a little bit of flowers. Now I have some different options here that I pulled because I didn't know exactly what all I wanted to add. I have this white. I think I'm going to try and add a little bit of this. This is one of my favorites. This is meadow grass. If no one's ever heard of this, this is a great filler. It's great for spring because it's really fluffy and pretty and white. It makes a great filler, especially for corsages or boutonnieres. So if a lot of people are doing this, prom season's right around the corner. If anyone wants me to be their date, honey, give me a call, 903-663-9111. And we will definitely be your date. I love to go to prom. I'm a good date because I love to dance. I love to drink punch and I love to eat um, whatever they have to offer so give me a call okay Susan says I'm a floral designer now but I used to work at the M&M factory and got fired for throwing all the W's away oh god I love M&M's she got fired for throwing the W's upside down in oh yes oh my god I'm a little slow all the mirrors are still open let's see Nadine says she's going to be it. Nadine, my great grandmother that we were talking about a minute ago with the white diamonds, her name was Nadine. So I love that name. Okay, so let's see how this looks, guys. Let me know what you think. Put a little bit right there and see. What do y'all think about that? There's that. Or we have the daisies. Let me cut this too and see what we think. I like the daisies better. We're gonna take that out and we're gonna use the daisies, guys. This is a great bush that we have right here. It's an inexpensive. It's $9.99 and 50 off, so five bucks, okay? And it's got three aspects on the one bush. And we used it in one of our cemetery cones that we, we did the other day. So I'm gonna cut this apart and, excuse me, and use this to fill in, okay? Hey, Shelly, how are you? It's good to see you. We had a great time the other day. Shelly was with us the other day. Josh did facials, and we had a great time. We had uh, 45 mimosas, and we, it was awesome. Okay, let's see. Put that down. Okay, guys, so we're going to cut this apart, and we're going to incorporate this into the lantern. This is really what's going to make your outcome really stand out, and you're really going to start to see that presentation that we wanted from the beginning of the design. Okay? And again, make sure when you do small projects like this, again, you cut this in small um, pieces. You don't want a big old long piece up in here because it's going to hang out and it's not going to be proportionate. And you want everything to be in moderation and you want everything to be proportionate, okay? Kelly, I don't know if I believe in ghosts because I haven't seen any nor do I want to because that would probably scare the hell out of me. And I don't want to be laying in bed one night and look up and there would be a ghost because I would just die. And I, yeah, Dina's told me she's seen him before and I just don't know. I don't know. I'll stick to seeing them on Ghost Adventures, okay? I watch that show sometimes. I have to turn it off because they freak me out. And I will never be playing with no Ouija board or anything no. like that. That's demonic. I don't do Ouija I don't boards. want any demonic energy around me. And I don't want any ghosts around me because you never know who they are. So, no. I don't want to do all that stuff. I have a poltergeist in my house. And as long as, as it leaves me and my cats alone, it's welcome to stay. And I've told it if it ever hurts me or my cats, it will be banished. See there? No, ma'am. Mm-mm. I thought I was going to go to Dina's one day. Never again. Because then one time I go over there, that thing would chase me down the road <laughs> with the raccoons. So I don't think so. Mm -mm. Good God. 
Oh, Spencer said her house is haunted and gotten used to it. I have too, because mine has followed me. My, I picked mine up in Nashville, and it's followed me. Ah, uh -uh. I burned the house down. As long as it doesn't hurt me or the cats, it's it can stay. Oh, guys, I can't. Mm -mm. Couldn't do it, child. Could not do it. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I'm just adding that, that daisy in to fill in the uh, thing. Yes, Tara, we do have a store in Texarkana. And, guys, you can find all of that information on our website at ellishomingarden.com. Go up to the top. Click on our store locations. We have four locations. Hopefully, you find one near you, and you can come in and check out our awesome products. And don't forget, we have an awesome greenhouse. So we don't just have home decor and candles and all kinds of great stuff inside, but we do have an awesome greenhouse that would hopefully you can find beautiful plants in also as well. Okay? Hey, Monique. Mar Margie, I'm with you. Mary, mine just hides things from me. I'm with you. I hide things from myself. You know, I have a bottle of wine and I forget where I put it the next well, day. I think my cats pick up things and move them and then I turn around and there it is and I'm going, it was not there just a minute ago. Mm -hmm. What are your cats' names? Gustav, Hannah, Ike, and Mr. So you have three? Four. Okay, so as you can see, this is really starting to fill out and look nice. And again, these lanterns can be used multi purposes, guys. So, not just for tablescape. You can use them in your Christmas tree. You can use them for graduations. You can use them for gifts. Mother's Day is coming up. It'd be a great thing to use. It'd be a great group fun project. So, if you ever have ladies that come over and you want to have a great time with your friends or for your Sunday school class, guys, get um, some coffee and have some snacks and, you know, some punch and have some, you know, sandwiches and have a group setting. And, you know, you can design and have a fun project. This would be something that would be great for your ladies' night. Kelly, I've taken pictures too, and things show up in my pictures. We well, need to bring those pictures, Dana. And show me. Okay. That's how we've got so far. So, again, guys, it's always good to back up from what you're doing and really take a look. I have these smaller roses. I'm gonna add a couple because I want a little bit of that pink color out here on the outside as well, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of pink right here on the outside. Virginia, thank you, and Linda. Esther, it's a pick machine. All right, guys, so that's all I'm going to add on the bottom, okay? And then we're still going to do the top. So, for all of you who are just joining us, guys, we're coming from the Longview, Texas location of Ellis Humble Garden. We're doing a birdcage, okay? So, we've created the bottom, and what we have done is we added a piece of styrofoam. I'm just going to give you a little recap for all of you wondering. And yes, I will go back at the end of this video. I'll put a supply list for all of you wondering, and I did that on the last video. Um, we, put it the, we put the peonies to begin with. Then we added the um, ivy. Then we added the lace fern. And then we added um, the daisy bush, and we added some roses here at the end. Now we're going to do a little bit at the top. So here's how we're going to incorporate ribbon because I, love, I know a lot of my viewers um, love to incorporate and use ribbon, but they don't really know how. So we added a soft pink, or I found a soft pink one and a half inch ribbon. Yes, this has wire in it because if you don't use wired ribbon, it doesn't show, I mean, it doesn't create that uh, form, that shape that you want. Because if you don't use wired ribbon, it's flat sometimes, like your hair is when you don't put product in it. And so you want to make sure you have wire in the ribbon, okay? I'm going to leave the tail a little bit longer. We can always trim it if we don't want it that long. And we're going to keep our loops a little bit smaller because we don't have that big of an area to work in. So we don't want these massive loops, okay? Hey, Stephanie, good to see you on here. Oh, my God, Lynn, what happened? She says, Lynn, the strangest thing happened to me. Let me get my thing for that move. Okay, the strangest thing happened to me after my husband passed. He asked for certain songs and couldn't remember. 
I opened a drawer where he kept the CDs, and in his writing was a list of music he wanted. I had looked in there not so long before, so I don't know. That is strange, huh? That's a sign, though, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a sign. Wow. Hey, Kelly. Okay. So we're going to tie our bow, guys. I'm going to do about three loops. Small, because, again, we don't have very much space up here at the top. Michelle says you need the ghost radar out. No, I don't, because I would be laying in bed at night doing that, and then I would see something, and I would never be able to sleep. I couldn't do it. Okay, I'm going to trim this. And get our pipe cleaner. Now, guys, as you tie your bows and stuff, you can use wire, you can use whatever you want. I prefer to use pipe cleaners because they're easier for me to hold on to and grip. But again, you can use whatever you want. I just wouldn't use a zip tie or something, okay? Hi, Diana. Let's see. Angela, they're artificial flowers. Yeah, but don't they look real, honey? You have the selection is very important because you want to always select the most realistic flowers that you possibly can. Okay? Has Josh said anything? You probably think I'm ignoring him. I haven't seen. Okay. okay, guys. So see right there, we're gonna put this bow on top of here. Okay? Now I have a pick machine here, so that's how I'm going to um, attach my bow. But if you don't have a pick machine, you can put this on a wire pick, and that's how you can attach it on top of here. Okay? And you can always use picks for certain things, guys, and you can trim them. So I'm going to cut the edge of this off, just like that. I'm pop it in my eye. And just like that. Okay, and then we're going to put it up here at the top. Just like that and see where that folds in we're gonna trim that actually like that okay so we have these extra peonies let's see if they're too big cut it down we're gonna actually use them up here at the top okay I'm trying to put a little bit of glue on there to secure it Just be patient as you do this. This is a smaller piece of styrofoam, so you don't want to put a lot of pressure in there because you can actually pop that off. So just be patient and calm as you put these last few in here. three up there because again we've done such an excessive amount on the bottom excuse me we don't want to oh honey i need a zantac we don't want to put so much on the top <clears throat> okay i'm actually going to trim these tails a little bit more okay so i'm going to have um i'm going to add a little bit of more ivy first We want to make sure that we incorporate the same items that we're incorporating on the bottom half on the top half, okay? Mm -hmm. Heidi, thank you for sending your pictures. And again, guys, I want to, I want to um, thank all of you for sending in your work and thank you for sending in your designs because I love to see all of the things that you have created and taken the guidance from our videos because your work always turns out beautiful. And we want to share it on our Facebook page and we will get to that eventually. So I want to um, thank you for that, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Um, somebody asked a question. Christy, what is your other name on Facebook that you show with the Aiden song? Other designs? Um, just, we just on Ellis Home and Garden. Let's see. Delia says, Dylan, how long have you been working with Floor? You're so fast and just like that, you create beautiful designs. Well, thank you so much, Delia. I've been here at Ellis um, for eight years. So I've really been really just into heavily doing floral for eight years now. So thank you so much. Uh, Pride's coming from Chicago. Hey, Wanda. Thank you so much, girl. She said my shirt is the bomb. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of um, ivy for length. Okay? And again, guys, all this stuff is on wire, so make sure you bend it and shape it however you want. Okay? I smell those nuts. Kevin must be making them. Do you smell those? 
No. Okay, so we're going to put a piece up here at the top for a little bit of height. Piece down here at the bottom. Okay, guys, if you like what you see so far, if you're enjoying this lantern, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. And if you'll share this video, guys, again, that invites more people into our Ellis family. And we love inviting new people and meeting new people. Okay, so I'm going to have Dina scan up what we've done so far. And while she does that, I'm going to run and get another couple strands of greenery to finish off the top of this so far. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have her scan up. Any questions or comments that you have so far about this or anything that you want to know about designing or decorating, leave those down below. And we're going to answer those. We're going to have a QA and a when I get back. So give me just one second. I'm going to run and get some greenery, and she's going to give you a close-up. All right, everybody, I'm back. So we're gonna add a little bit of that lace fern bush like we used at the beginning, okay? Hey, Mary and Sissy and Martha, thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. Okay. Hmm. Diana says I'm supposed to be at the bank. At the bank, girl, getting that money. I'm just filling in with this greenery, guys, around this. And okay, we kind of have our shape where we want it. Okay. We're going to add one off this one right here. He says, I just bought some smaller bird cages for use as table centerpieces. Uh -huh. You've given me some great ideas on how to decorate them. Oh, well, good. Awesome. And make sure you share your photos, Vicki, because I definitely want to see as well. Okay? With succulents being so popular, do you use them in your designs? I love succulents. And actually, guys, in just a second, I'll walk out there with you when we get done with this, and I'll show you a couple of succulents that we have and what you can do with them. Okay? I definitely want you to be able to incorporate those in your design and not be afraid to use them because a lot of people love succulents and they see them and they look at them but they're afraid to pick them up and use them and, and because they don't know how to incorporate them. So I'm going to now add the daisy bush guys because we also use that down there as well. So as you can see, this is really just flowing together. Once you do one part, it's really easy to incorporate the rest of it, and it really just flows together. Latricia says, thank you for replying to the message that was sent. Oh, of course, she, girl. She sent back a reply with another question. Okay, I'll have to look at it. And sometimes, guys, it takes me just a minute to uh, look at all those because there is a lot of questions that come through, but I really try to go through and read each and every question and respond to all the ones that I can. A lot of people send questions, though, about the notifications, and guys, that's something that you have to do on your end. You just have to go personally and turn on your own notifications for Ellis Home Garden, and that's how you get notifications that we're live and that so that well, you don't miss any um, material or content that we put out. And also, make sure, you guys, you go to our website, ellishomeandgarden.com, and sign up for our emails, and that way you get updates and you get emails with coupons and um, ad updates and all kinds of info about content. Or material that we put out so you don't miss that as well because we put out all kinds of stuff and that way you get the first 
look at all that new stuff and new material that is coming out each and every week because we do put out a lot of stuff. A couple of people have asked, what would you about what would you sell this for? Guys, this one right here probably about ninety or hundred dollars. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these three bird cages up here, and I'm going to let you vote on which is your favorite design. Okay. So let me get over here. I'm going to put them all up. We Diane, finished. I'm about 20 minutes away. We finished them up. All right. So, we're going to say this is um, design number one, design number two, and design number three. So, you can select which one you like best, guys. And go ahead and leave a comment down below and just leave an, uh, like the number sign, one, two, or three, which one you like best for your design, guys, or which one that you would decorate most and again the first one they're all wonderful designs this one right here you would do in a wooden bowl you put foliage around it with the bird cage the second one here you would just have the bird cage and it's full of foliage it's very wispy and wild and natural and I love that effect and I love the use of the butterflies it's very natural and the third one is the one we did today guys we put all of the natural elements in the bottom guys with the wildflowers with the peonies and we created an accent at the top with a little bit of ribbon as well. So go ahead and leave comments down below, guys. Let us know. Leave a thumbs up if you like what you saw also. Customer number three. All right, guys. So again, anything you'd like to see, any requests you'd like to see as far as what we do on our videos, go ahead and leave that below as well. And we will definitely go back and read all of your requests and bring you new content, new material. And tomorrow, we're going to do a Q&A out in the greenhouse to be thinking of your questions on anything you want to know about live flowers. And we will definitely get with those. So let's go out in the store, and I'm going to show you a few things with succulents because I know a lot of you have questions about those and don't know how to use them, but we're going to show you. What a freaking mess I have made today. Anyway, <laughs> where's Mary Maid when you need them? <laughs> okay. And as you can see, it is so dead quiet here today because we're supposed to have bad weather or something. So it's fine. It ain't going to keep me down, honey. Dylan, are you on? Yeah, give me just a second. I'm going to finish this video up, then I'll be here. Yeah? You want to be on camera? No, you want to be on camera? You, Come on, girl. You can be my guest. I love you, but no. <laughs> can you put a battery-operated candle in? Yes, guys. And Dina almost, she said something about that earlier. You can use battery-operated candles for a lot of things. Um, I, my favorite are luminaire candles. They have a flame. Actually, I'll take you over here and show you how you can do that. But first... Let's stop with the succulents. A lot of people are asking about succulents. So here's a couple options that we have here in the store. They're great because... Like tornado sirens? Is there a weather? Yeah, there's a weather. Yeah, there's a weather. Is it? Anyway, guys, these are succulents. Here are a couple different options. So you can incorporate these and you can incorporate them in wreaths. You can incorporate them in arrangements. So you don't need to be afraid to use them. They're all rubbery um, and they're great for arrangements. So let me show you how we use them over here. Also this string of pearls is a great option as well because it gives length and it's drapey and so you get that great effect also. So over here, was that weather? I don't know what's going on with my phone. Oh, okay. So over here I'll show you how we use uh, those as well. So here's an example, guys, on how you can use succulents. We put it in this metal container. We just filled it full of styrofoam, put that beautiful moss, and we incorporated these succulents. And what you do is you just find a, a blend or a mixture, if you want to say that, um, of your selection, of, of your choice, and then you put them in a container. And most of the time, it's great for a long centerpiece on a coffee table. And so we put them here. So here's one selection. Another selection would be this. We used a wood bowl here in this particular case, and we used a cluster of the big ones here in the front, and then we used the longer ones here at the end to really elongate this particular arrangement. So again, guys, don't be afraid to use these. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and use these because they're great. And they're really popular with that farmhouse with that galvanized metal look. Um, they're really popular this season. You'll see them a lot of the time on Pinterest and on TV, so keep that in mind. So let me show you real quick the luminaire candles before we say goodbye because they're great, they're an investment, they're a little bit more money, but it's something that you can use all year round. And once you purchase that, you can use it for multiple seasons. I probably cleaned it up, I couldn't get through there. All right guys, 
So here is one of our luminaire candles. And again, these are great because they've got that flame. They're, they're battery operated. There's no cord. There's no mess. And you can use these on your table. You can use them in lanterns. You can use them in bird cages all over. And they're great for multiple seasons. So again, this is something that will be great in the bird cage that we designed today. So don't be afraid to get it. It is a little bit more money. It's an investment, but it is something that is great. And it'd be a great purchase for you. So. Again, guys, I want to thank you for joining us today on our video. We did the bird cage. If you're just joining us, we came to you from the Longview, Texas location. And we're going to come to you tomorrow with a Q&A from the greenhouse. So, again, thank you for sending in all of your questions and comments, guys. So go ahead and leave those down below if you have any more that you want to see. If you want to find a store near you, check us out on our website at ellishomeandgarden.com. Guys, go to the top, check on our store department tab, and you can find a location near you, hopefully, and come see us, guys. And if you come to the Longview store, we'll be here. And come in and give Dina and I a hug and say hello because we love to interact with you and we love to meet with you. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow, guys, for the Greenhouse Q&A. So be thinking of your questions. And if you have bad weather near you like we do here, I hope everyone has a safe day and a beautiful day. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.